Welcome back, guys. So, big question this week, Will. Uh, Chambers and Scoose, that's Luke Chambers and Cole Scoose, have, yeah. have, been, have been talked up by Lambert yeah. in the last week about the uh, contribution they can make mm-hmm. to the team. Now, we can't argue their positions in the team. Both of you know, captain, vice-captain, best friends you know, on and off the pitch. Um, these two players have had a huge amount of games for Ipswich Town, but never really provided that final touch mm. that's won us the game. Now, Will, can you see Luke Chambers and Cold Scoose being at Ipswich Town beyond the end of this season? Yes, I can. I think maybe not so... I mean, they're probably good enough for League One, but I think, um, you know, they're pivotal. The, the personalities they carry around that around our training grounds, around the stadium, on the pitch, they're, as Lambert, you know, Lambert called them role models, and they are. They're players that the youngsters look up to. You know, they've been about the club for so long. They know it like... like they know the club inside out. They know every single little detail about it. Mm-hmm. And to have players like that, you know... A lot of our players that we did have for a long time have got out the door now at the start of this season. So, you know, we've got to keep a couple that know the ins and outs of the club just to offer that they, bit of stability. They are, really. Without without going, you know, too harsh on them, they are part of the furniture, aren't they, yeah, really? absolutely. And can, can a, lot of, a lot of fans would question whether the, the team could really survive without a character such as Luke Chambers outside of the dressing room. So, you know, even if... Even if, Luke, like you said, you'd like to see him ne- next season, yeah. um, there's no question his quality. I'd have him in League One. I'd have yeah. him in Championship. I'd even have him in Premier League. He's that kind of player for me. Um, at times, I think, you know, more recently, it showed that maybe the team has struggled as a whole and that's maybe made him struggle a bit more. Um, Chambers, personally, excuse I wouldn't take into this conversation. But, you know, even if Luke was to not go forward with Ipswich into next season could you see him potentially becoming a coach or maybe even a motivational speaker (laughs) for Ipswich Town I think even if he doesn't move forward I think move forward as a player with the club I think we've got to keep him one way or another Mm -hmm. because he's someone that everyone I mean you know I read or watched something you know I think he lives Jack Lancaster lives in his attics or something like that you know Jack Lancaster is widely regarded around the club as you know the, the main the kind of attacker mm. that we could bring up to be a really high quality player yeah you know and if you've got you know if you're living in someone's attic so there's got to be something there that you like you you get on with them you respect them yeah so I think even if he doesn't continue as a player and you know he's 34 he's of that age where you know retirement is going to start you know creeping up on creeping him. up on him and he's you know he's not going to get any younger obviously no but in some way or another he's got to stay around the club just for that personality and how well he knows it all right so as an Ipswich fan and and someone who obviously looks up to Luke Chambers what would will describe what Luke Chambers means to you I think Luke Chambers is just the outright kind of perfect captain really you know yes people question what he does on the pitch at times but there's no denying he has got the quality when he's on his day he can be a hell of a centre-back he can be a hell of a presence at that in the heart of that defence just sitting in front of the keeper but then he's got he can talk to the midfield yeah. they can relay to the attack um, he's he, he's everything you want from a captain really because he know like it's kind of like John Terry at Chelsea he yeah. was at the club for so so long and he knew every little detail about that club yeah. and although Luke Chambers isn't a one club man he's been at the club long enough that you know he knows just as much as someone who would be um so for me, he's just he summarises everything you want a captain to be. He's loyal, he's determined, he puts 110% into every game. Yeah. You know, you can't deny that, even if sometimes he does make an error. You know, he, 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 owns, he owns up to his errors as well, yeah. which is what I think it deserves massive respect for. Because you get a lot of footballers nowadays that won't own up to their own mistakes. Um, so, you know, to, to, to not have Luke James at Ipswich Town, I think, would be a massive loss in any scale, whether it's as a player, as a coach or as some other... You know, something yeah. just uh, just something about the club to lose him just as a presence at the club, I think, would be a massive loss. Brilliant! Cheers for that, Will.